Good morning, everyone. My name is Eddie. I'm Eli. And for our senior project, we took the treasure house online. Before we get into the project itself, I want to introduce ourselves a little more. We've both been very interested in web design for the past several years, and so last year we started a company called Cirque Media. We basically wanted to expand our efforts and offer our services to others in the community. You may know us for taking uh, the student-run Laguna Blanca newspaper online, the fourthstate.net. Uh, we built that going into our junior year of high school, and it's been a great success, and we hope it continues after we graduate. For this project, however, we focused on the Music Academy of the West. Now, for those of you who don't know the Music Academy, it's a classical music conservatory in Montecito that every year sponsors hundreds of musicians with full scholarships and hosts multiple concerts. So in order to fund these scholarships and concerts, the Music Academy turns to certain fundraising efforts, and among those is the Treasure House. The Treasure House is a small resale and consignment shop located on the campus in, in Montecito and takes in donations of antiques, silverware, and, and linens and such and resells them on campus. So we thought a logical place to start our project would be to meet with the volunteer leaders of the Treasure House. So going in, we couldn't help to expe uh, expect that an antique shop located in a uh, classical music conservatory would be somewhat behind the times in the way they do things. <laughs> But when we got to the meeting and met with this group of women and started getting questions like, what's the difference between Facebook and Craigslist? <laughs> so we were a little worried that there would be anyone to keep up the website after we had been. But we were assured that with the help of their IT team and with a little instruction from us, that the website would be in great hands and to be maintained after our project had ended. We really wanted our project not to be just shadowing someone or observing a business. We wanted to use our creativity and create a lasting impact on the treasure house that would be there for months and years to come. So we created a five-step plan that we thought could best help the treasure house in our limited two-week time span. So the first among these objectives is to catalog the entire inventory of the treasure house. Second, we needed to design and build a website to showcase these items, allow people to browse them at home. Thirdly, we'd like to implement a, res a reservation system so that people can not only browse, but reserve items from, the, from, from home. <coughs> Fourth, we needed to increase social and online awareness of the Treasure House so we have visitors and traffic to this website. And lastly, we want to, we want to leave behind an easy to maintain user interface so that after our, project, our short project had ended, that there, uh, the website could be kept up. And all these five points really boil down to one main idea, one main goal, and that was increase revenues for the Treasure House so that the Music Academy can continue to give out its full scholarships every year. So on number one, that was cataloging the inventory. <laughs> For those of you who have never been to the Treasure House, it's set up like a small three-room home, except that every corner of every room is packed with tiny, fragile antiques. <laughs> so one day, Eli and I brought our equipment, which was a tripod, a camera, and a laptop, and set up a small studio space in the Treasure House. And we began taking pictures of each and every single one of those antiques, plates, dishes, cups. And, uh, and as you can see here, we took literally hundreds of photos. And uh, it was a lot of organizing and keeping their name and price uh, matched up with the actual photo. And so um, we're proud of how it looks, but it was a lot of work, a lot of tedious work. And with that, we thought we completed our first task, cataloging the treasure house inventory, which brought us to designing and building a website to showcase this inventory. So to start this, we scoured the internet to find what kind of information on the treasure house was already out there. And so all we could find was a small blurb located on the Music Academy website. And we thought that this simply wasn't good enough. We knew that from then on, we had to create a brand new independent website for the Treasure House. So to do this, we used three main tools. The process is way more complex for this, but to break it down into a, a nice, easy layout, this is how we did it. The first is Dreamweaver, an application that allows you to create and edit files of code, such as <coughs> HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and even more like uh, PHP and jQuery. Second. FileZilla, which allows you to upload these files to the server on the internet. And third, WordPress, which allows you to uh, organize these files into a, co a coherent website that's easy to use and clean. And WordPress, not to mention, is uh, the user interface that we'll be leaving behind so that it can be maintained after we leave. So uh, here's a little look at Dreamweaver. So this is basically what we were looking at for the majority of our project. It, to you, it may look like an intimidating chunk of code, but to us, it's a godsend. It's a really organized and uh, helpful program that we're really, really thankful that we could uh, have the opportunity to use. So, using tools like Dreamweaver and WordPress, we were able to take the Treasure House's online presence from a small blurb on their parent company's website, something we think is much better. That is, the treasurehouse.org. <laughs> 
Here's the, uh, the main, uh, main page of the website, and as you can see, it's got all the main elements. It has a header right there, a featured area right here where we can feature items, welcome people to the site, and even offer, offer coupons if the trailer comes with us too. Uh, there's also an introduction to the shop's manager, Sophia Bell, who is also our off-campus advisor, as well as uh, new arrivals at the store and featured categories. And so just to take you through the typical customer experience at the treasurehouse.org, we want to run, the, run you through a simulation where I am an antique customer and I'd like to shop at the treasure house. And so the uh, first thing I would do is go to the standby tab up at the uh, mini bar at the top. And so if you break it down into three different ways you can browse, by category, by price range, or by brand. And so personally, I'm a uh, big fan of Wedgwood Antiques. So <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see what kind of collection that uh, the treasure house has on Wedgwood. So, I mean, that's a pretty good collection, and as you see, we can click on that. This is the main shop by page, and currently it's filtered by Wedgwood as a brand. You can also filter by price, uh, other categories, or even search for specific items if you wish to. So, Eddie, anything catch your eye? Well, I'm going to show up funds, and I can see that an item's on sale by the sticker at the top right of the product. And so, uh, just looking at this, I like the jug, so I'm going to go for the jug right there. Right? That's a fantastic choice. <laughs> on the scroll of the jug, you can see uh, an option to reserve immediately pops up, but Eddie, I'm not so sure you're sold yet. What do you think? You're right. I need much more information than this, but let's, let's, uh, let's, let's we'll that's fine. And then we to the main product page. This is the page you'll see for any product on, on site wide, and as you can see, it has all the main elements. Uh, you have option to add to cart, add to your wish list, uh, description of views, and even related products at the bottom. Before I want to purchase this item, I want to see what other people are saying about it, so I'm going to check out the reviews. Let's see what people are saying. Looks like you've got one five-star review. That's a pretty good review. That's a great, <laughs> that's a great sign. I, I really like this product. But before I want to buy it, I really want to see uh, if it really is going to match my uh, other other plateware. So let's take a closer look. And we can do that. So you scroll over the image, and as you can see, a magnified view pops up on the right-hand side, allowing you to take a closer look at each image. So after getting that look, what do you think? Are you sold? I'm ready to buy it. Let's add it to the car. All right. It's as easy as that. You hit add to cart and you're done. From there, you can enter the rest of your information and pick the item up the same day. So that's how we not only built a site to showcase the inventory, but we also installed a system to allow people to reserve the items from their home. So now that we had a great site that we really wanted to show off, we needed traffic to come to our website. And so that we knew that the easiest way to do that was through social media. Social media is a fantastic way for businesses to get the word out, especially nonprofits who can't afford advertising. So uh, for our uses, Facebook was the best option. Facebook is an incredible option because it offers you such a wide audience. I mean, billions of people use it now. So just to show you how Facebook can help the Treasure House, we want to uh, just say Eli and I have our Facebook profiles, and we like the, uh, the Treasure House Facebook page. What that does is it alerts our friends on their news feeds that, uh, that we have liked the Treasure House, that we show interest in it. And so if even just two of our friends like the Treasure House as well, it starts creating a web uh, that grows exponentially and it gives us an awareness that we never could achieve before. With Facebook and using this method and others, we were able to take the Treasure House from uh, an online presence of just 12 likes, most of which were shop employees, in just two weeks, all the way to 69. Something we're proud of and something we think we're just going to continue to grow in the future and create a great presence for the Treasure House. So with that, we think we completed our, our goal of increasing public awareness of the Treasure House. It's not just leaves leaving behind an easy to maintain user interface so that after our project has ended, that the site will look just as good as it does now. And so to do that, we use WordPress. WordPress is a free to use uh, web software that's used all over the world, from personal bloggers to professional corporations like CNN and uh, Sony. And so we chose WordPress because it's the easiest uh, and most simple way to teach and learn how to add and organize products on the site. And so to show you that, we have a product page here which just lists um, uh, the products that are already listed on the site. It's very visual and requires no web experience prior to actually using it. So, just to make it completely foolproof, though, so that we know the volunteers at the Treasure House will absolutely be able to keep up the site, we also created a very easy, easy to use uh, four step manual that breaks down how to add and edit new products or existing products. With this, we think that uh, the volunteers at the Treasure House, no matter how technologically inclined they are, will be able to keep up the site and make, uh, keep it as good looking as it does now in a year's time. So, with that, we think we've accomplished all five of our goals, 
and really put the Treasure House in a great spot to increase revenues and keep the Music Academy running as great as it is now for weeks, months, and years to come. So thank you very much. We'd like to open for questions.